Make sure you check out SuperGangZinc.com. Get your cards. It's getting close to next week, so you need to make sure you know what you want and make and just order from us because you know we got it. Also, if you want your car guys merchandise, check out sector6apparel.com. The reason for this video, um, you know, we're getting ready, we're getting close to that season. Um, people are trying to do really, really well. And the thing that I've been seeing people struggle with is like, like being able to gain advantage from their opponent by like just abusing one of the like most, um, like the most um, broken game mechanics. Like and that's just the card text, but people don't know how to make the card text work in their favor on cards. So this is what this video is about. Um, just learning how to decipher like what the card, like what the cards mean, what the cards do, which will help you gain an edge. So let's get right into it. Like just starting off like conditions, costs, and then like the actual effect. If you look at the um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you can like when you're reading an effect, you can see there are some cards that have like you know colons semicolons and then just the effect after the semicolon anything any text that um comes right before a semicolon uh colon excuse me um that means that's a condition like these are conditions that need to be met before this effect can happen just like say for example um when your opponent controls no monsters a semicolon that means before you even be able to use this um type of effect on the card you need this needs to happen right here, which means your opponent has control of no monsters, which means that has to happen, that has to be there before you can actually even attempt to activate the effect. And that comes right before the uh, the colon, the two dots that look like this. So after that, after um any text that comes after a colon and then like comes right like it's right before a semicolon, um that's the cost of the effect. Which is like discard this card or banish this card. And pretty much that's what's done, um, like to activate the effect. There's condition, which means like for you to even activate the effect, this condition has to be met, which means you have to be able to do that as well. But also, um, if there's any text that comes before a semicolon, you need to do this as well, which is like discard one card. So you discard one card to activate the effect. And like if you can't um, meet the cost requirements, then you can't um, legally activate the effect. Just like if it says discard one card to the graveyard, um, semicolon and uh, macrocosmos is up. Since you can't, act, since you can't um, send the card to the graveyard legally because of macrocosmos, you can't activate the effect or anything that will stop you from being able to fully um, complete the cost. You won't be able to activate the effect. And then just anything after the semicolon is. Just like what the effect does. There's also things on the card called conditions, uh, which means like there are effects that can't be negated at all, like built-in effects. Uh, let's let's look at the uh, look at Burning Abyss. Any um, Burning Abyss monster you see is gonna have a clause on there that says if you control no mo if you don't if you control a monster that's not a Burning Abyss monster, pretty much destroy this card. That is a condition. Like it can't be negated. Like unless it, like it's under skill drain or anything. Which means, like, soon as like the BA monster touches the field, it doesn't start a chain or anything. As soon as it touches the field, and there's a monster that's not a BA, <laughs> dead. And also, um, just looking at certain cards, um, knowing like when, like when um, stuff happens, like also if and when effects, um, or is a big thing that I've been seeing people have problems with. Um, there is a certain thing, even though it's an unofficial term, there is a thing called missing the timing, which means there's a certain window if an effect is activated that you won't be able to um, activate the card's effect. Like, just uh, take, I'm using, I'm trying to use as many cards um, that are kind of current in the meta right now. Kuraz the uh, Light Monarch. Um, if you read Kuraz, it says when this card is a uh, normal or special summon. Um, you can destroy up to two cards on the field, um, yours or your opponent's, and then the person whose cards were destroyed draw a card. If you look, since it says win, it, it needs to be summoned on chain link one. So if you normal, if you just tribute summon it, or if you just regular tribute summon it, or if you're using uh, Aether, Aether um, brings it, if Aether brings it out on chain link one, and then on the new chain, um, it will. You can still use this. You can legally use Caress's effect to pop whatever cards, and that person draws a card. But 
say um, they eat their stone, they eat their stone forth you, and you have an effect that's about that's gonna go off on the chain after all that resolves. Your effect, and they bring out um, the choose to bring out correct, like they some ether. So you have an effect that's going off. Your effect is going to be chain link one, and then their ether is going to be chain link two. So they use ether's effect, um, send two to the graveyard, send two monarch solo traps to the graveyard to bring out the corrals, and then chain link one, you resolve whatever effect you have. They won't be able to um, use corrals's effect because it says when it has to be on, it has to be on chain link one that it is brought out since it says when. Now. Cards that say if, like the Telenites or the Cosmo cards, um, since it says if, no matter what happens, as long as this trigger is met, then on the next chain, you'll be able to use this effect properly. The only thing, the only time that that uh, won't be the case is if that monster or that ca monster or that card is not where it needs to be um, for it to trigger its effect. For example, um, the, the Atlantean cards. They pitch, uh, they pitch uh, dragoons and uh, heavy infantry, uh, Lenian heavy infantry and, and Lenian dragoons for a megalos effect, and you play transmigration prophecy, um, putting both of those um, back into the deck. Um, trans, um, send them sending them for megalos effect is a cost. So, like they reveal the megalo in their hand and then send those two to the graveyard. If you chain um, transmigration prophecy, putting both of those two cards back into the deck, um, when Megalos summon and then effects go to resolve. Like those effects will not activate at all because they're not where they're not where they met their trigger um, at the time of the at the time that their effects would need to activate. But that's only for um, if you're watching this and you're like from Europe or somewhere else. Um, that doesn't go for y'all. It's just only for um, North America where it's ruled like that for us. But that's just a couple of um, like. Sort of rulings that I wanted to go through, sort of game mechanics and everything. Um, there are lots of ways to abuse this stuff, like with the conditions, with um, costs, if and when effects, missing making cards, miss timing, or using cards, using your cards to make your opponent's cards miss timing and everything, and make them play uh, pretty much however you want if you know how to abuse these game mechanics and subtle things. But uh, let me know what else we need to talk about like that, like what something you don't. Um, truly like really understand what the game that we can help you use to exploit um, your opponent to help you get an edge and help you win the game um, leave those down in the um, comment section make sure you give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video make sure you go rewatch it I promise you'll like it the second time but blur the car guys good looking ass